Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this video where I take you to the beautiful Colca Canyon located in Peru. So there are several tours you can do to explore the Colca Canyon and I'd say the best place where to start from is Arequipa, which is a beautiful city located in the south of Peru. We decided to do the two day long conventional tour. We booked this tour with a company called Evans Tour Expeditions and paid 140 solas per person. This price included transport, tour guide, accommodation and food. If you're however up for doing a bit more of an active tour, then I would recommend doing the trekking tour tour instead. But anyhow, our tour started by us getting picked up from our hotel and off we went. We've done a small pit stop where we can stretch our legs a bit. You could have some tea if you wanted to, use the bathroom. And yeah, the surroundings are really beautiful. We're just driving past a national park and there in the distance you can see the misty mountain right over there it does look misty as the name suggests now stopped because there's a bunch of llamas and alpacas here and even vicuñas over there and there's a baby one that's so so cute <laughs> that was born in first january oh yeah now come to a lookout point and we're very high up in altitude not sure i heard 4100 but rules saying it was 4900 yeah okay apparently we are at 4900 and 10 meters so quite high up luckily after bolivia we got quite used to high altitude so i don't feel bad also it is quite cold and i'm wearing shorts and I'm regretting it a little bit. I should have put some long pants on, but hopefully maybe later I can change into something a bit warmer. We have now been dropped off to our hotel for the night and it's actually quite nice. Looks like this, nothing fancy but I've seen much worse in my life. And surprisingly we even have like a tiny little kitchen thing kind of. Uh, let's have a look at the view. Yeah, not <laughs> the most beautiful view of my life. But at least you can see the mountains in the background, so that's nice. Uh, now we're gonna change a bit because it's quite cold outside. So I'm gonna put a little bit warmer clothes. And then I'm also gonna put my swimsuit underneath because we are going to some hot springs next. <music> Visiting the hot springs was so nice and relaxing. It first feels very hot when getting in and it was very funny watching everyone's first reactions. But after a while you get used to the temperature and yeah, eventually it becomes really, really nice and relaxing. This was an optional thing to do on the tour, but I definitely recommend doing it.
good morning. Today we had a relatively early morning. We had breakfast at 6 a.m. here at our hotel. It was nothing special, it was just tea juice and some bread. And yeah, soon starts day two of our tour. And I'm not really sure what are all the things that we're gonna do today. At least we're gonna see Kolka Canyon as the Kolka Canyon tour suggests. And yeah, but I'm excited. Our first stop of the day is this town called Yanke. There seems to be people dancing here by the square and you can buy like handmade things and there's a church that you can visit. So let's check it out. We have now come to another town called Maka. Here in this town you can get a photo with a hawk but our guide said that you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't support it because it's a bit sad and that the birds are kept in bad conditions and stuff so if you're ever here in Maka I would also suggest that you don't pay for a photo with a hawk or eagle. Not sure which one it is but there's also a bunch of llamas with uh, sunglasses. Also not sure how ethically well they're kept. I don't know so I don't want to take chances with supporting that kind of animal tourism. have now entered the Kolka Canyon and you could choose if you want to take the car all the way to the famous cross I guess that's like the main point or you could walk there and it's apparently a 25 minute walk so we decided to do the walking version and yeah the views whoa so beautiful Gotta be careful not go too close to the edge because it's quite a drop. But wow, so beautiful. The Kolka Canyon is famous for gondors living here, which are these like big vulture birds. But they are quite rare to see. Apparently in all of Peru there's about 400 to 600 of them and in this canyon there's about 30 of them. So you gotta be lucky in order to see one. Apparently some of the people saw a glimpse of one and we just missed it, but let's hope we could see one. That would be very cool. Whoa. I saw a condor. I'm so happy. And I even caught it on camera. Great. Mission success. I'm happy we got so lucky with the weather as well. Because it is technically, it's summer in Peru, but it's also rainy season. Apparently the chance of it being a rainy day was quite high. Yesterday I was saying it's gonna rain. But at least at the moment we're having the perfect weather. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. It's just perfect. Yeah, we've gotten really lucky. I'm really happy. And yeah, I'm really glad we decided to do this extra little walk instead of going straight to the cross. Because, well, we got to see a condor. And yeah, it's just a beautiful environment where to walk in. So if you're doing a tour and you get the chance to do this little walk, I definitely, definitely recommend doing it. And it's, it's an easy walk, so I don't think you need to be super fit for it or anything. Did you know that Kolka Canyon is 4,160 meters deep, which is more than double than the depth of the famous Grand Canyon in Arizona? Yeah, this spot is definitely much more crowded. We have now 
now arrived to a lookout point. From this lookout point you can pretty much see the whole valley almost. Really beautiful. have stopped at another viewpoint as well. It looks like kiwi. Yeah, it looks yeah, very sour, yeah. Sour, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Really yeah. La cosa que me... Se está bien. Wow. Just tried the sancayo, a fruit that grows in a cactus and Oh boy, it was really, really sour. <laughs> It has now been a few days since we came back from the Kolka Canyon tour, but I realized I forgot to end the video, so I am doing it now. I think the tour was really nice, the highlight of the tour was definitely Kolka Canyon itself, it was amazing, it was such a beautiful place, like yeah, it felt like almost like a surreal environment to be in, it was really beautiful. Another place that I really enjoyed where we visited during the tour were the hot springs, that was really relaxing and nice, I always love a good hot spring and yeah, I do think there was quite a lot of sitting in the car in the tour, but I guess it makes sense because the distances here are quite big. I do think it was a nice little tour, I think if you would do the trekking tour in instead of this conventional tour you would be more in those mountain uh, views and like really in the Kolka Canyon and stuff but I have heard that the Kolka Canyon trekking tour can be quite tough that you do need to be in quite good shape for it I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye